What's going on everybody? So I got a new story from the US that I'm gonna be sharing. It's gonna be in a link to the description. But before I talk about that, I gotta talk about some idiocy I saw on Twitter and I will also include a link to this because this is asinine. So the Twitter thing, somebody actually brought up clownfish as an argument against human biology. Clownfish. I'm just gonna say this. Clownfish and the human species, we are completely different types of species. Humans are mammals. Clownfish are fish. Fish are their own types of species. The only commonality is vertebrae. That is all. That is all I have to say. I will have a link to the description. Now for the story at hand. So, a home got broken into, and inside the home, there was a woman, her husband, and their child. The people who broke into the home had two pistols. Each one had one, okay? They were targeting the people, they were robbing them, they were victimizing them, they were beating the man with pistols, they were pistol whipping him. They pistol whipped the man so bad that they fucked up his eye socket, and they did a lot of damage to him medically. While they were pistol whipping the man, the woman went into the room and grabbed the AR-15 that they had in the house. She fired a single shot at the home invaders and they fled. One of them died in a ditch because he got hit. This gun saved the lives of this woman and her family. In my mind, she's a hero. And it goes to what I believe about every woman should carry a gun, just like everybody who is disabled should carry a gun, just like everybody who is elderly should carry a gun. People who have any kind of vulnerability should be allowed to defend themselves and should be able to defend themselves from people who choose to victimize them. That should absolutely be allowed. The problem is the media here does not talk about these kinds of situations. When I say the media, I'm referring to the mainstream media that's mainly corporate media. The pro-gun media won't talk about this. And that's because they try to push a narrative. They try to push a narrative about how horrible guns are. Not realizing that in the US, guns save more lives and are used in self-defense more than they are used in crime. They don't consider that gun control, these criminals, they're not gonna turn their guns in. These criminals are not gonna do so. The only thing that this is going to do is disarm those people that should be able to defend themselves. That's all that this is gonna do. I've dealt with people that had guns. No criminal I ever dealt with would turn their guns in under gun control. As a matter of fact, they would hide them. That's what they would do. They'd hide them and they wouldn't turn them in. That's at least how it is in the US. If if gun legislation passed, so say an assault rifle ban passed, the only thing that would do is cause people that own these kind of guns to sell them into the street instead of selling them in a buyback. Because selling them into the street will make more money than a buyback. That's the only thing an assault weapon ban would do is put more guns into the street. I know gun store owners. I know people that own gun shops. They even said it, if an assault rifle ban came, they would sell every single thing they have into the street before the ban takes effect. They would do so under private sale laws. If you are not a gun dealer, you do not require any kind of licensing in the US to sell a gun. In the US, if it is a private sale, no background check is mandatory under US private sale laws. No background check, none of that. You can just buy a gun from somebody with cash. 
That's why I say gun control would not work here. This is not the UK. This is not Australia. The only thing it would do is empower criminals and give more money and more value to criminal life. A person is less likely to attack someone that's armed than they are to attack someone who's unarmed. If a person's not armed, then they know that person can't defend themselves and that makes a person a target. I've dealt with these things. How you doing, bro? So, what happens here is... I'll give an example. I'll give an example. If... If I broke into somebody's house, for example, if somebody broke into someone's house and saw that that person was unarmed the first time they did it, it's likely they would strike that home again. Or it's likely they would put people onto that. A lot of break-ins that happen out here in the hood, for example, happen because people are not armed and people know that they're not armed. And they know that they ain't armed, so they go in their homes and they break in and they commit their crime. My home was broken into. It happened one time. It happened one time. Ever since that happened, people don't go near my home. Multiple other homes in my community have been broken into multiple times, but it only happened to me once. I wonder why. So that's the thing. Unarmed people are more vulnerable. Criminals and predators attack those who are more vulnerable. So I just want people to think about that, and I just wanted to get this out here about guns and kind of voice my views on it. I believe that people should be allowed to defend themselves, and people should have the means to be able to defend themselves from assault and victimization. Peace.